Hit that sub button if you want to hear the truth and the whole truth when it comes to the world of boxing. All right? Oh, so Mr. Deontay Wilder claims, he claims that Luis Ortiz, Mr. King Khan, and the guy he's apparently going to face this December, Mr. Tyson Fury, Mr. Gypsy King himself, are better than Anthony Joshua. He claims both of these men are better than Anthony Joshua. How the hell do you know, homie? How the hell do you know? You never fought Anthony Joshua. The only way you would know if Luis Ortiz and Tyson Fury are better than AJ is if you actually fought him. Then you could compare all three of these motherfuckers. But you didn't fight AJ, so you wouldn't know. And I really question, I really question if this is even truth to begin with. Because we already do, I've been telling you guys for the past month now. Well, actually, in my original channel, I made a video, you know, exposing Luis Ortiz. But you guys probably don't remember that because this was way back in 2017 in my original channel. But back in my original channel, since then I was, you know, talking about how I truly felt about Luis Ortiz. You want to know how I feel about King Kong. You want to know. I showed you the proof. The man has a padded record. Okay, I'm not saying he's a bum. I'm, I've never called Luis Ortiz a bum. He does have talent. But I'm just saying, his resume ain't shit. I mean, so if we're comparing resumes, Luis Ortiz, compared to Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua's resume shits all over Luis Ortiz's resume. Literally shits on it. And leaves it with a dirty ass shit stain. Alright? So you, when it comes to resume, his resume ain't better than somebody like uh, Joshua. Hell no. And at this point, his resume ain't better than Tyson Fury. Anthony Joshua has a better resume than Tyson Fury. Yes. Because Tyson Fury only has one good win in his resume. And that is against Vladimir Klitschko. Let's be real. Joshua has wins against uh, Klitschko. Against... Parker against Dylan White. So at this point in Joshua's career, he has a better resume than Tyson Fury. Because you take away the Klitschko victory, who's the best wins in Tyson Fury's resume? Chisora? That's it. Maybe Steve Cunningham, but Steve Cunningham was a cruiserweight. So of course, uh, th th Tyson Fury is going to win. He's fighting a shorter, much shorter, littler guy. That's really it. If you take away the Vladimir Klitschko win, let's be real here. So when it comes to resume, Joshua has a better resume than both of these guys. And again, what? how the hell would, 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 would Deontay Wilder know? He never fought. Like, the only way you would actually know is if you actually fought all three of these dudes, then you could compare how tough it was against all these dudes. All right, again, I, I, I don't look at Luis Ortiz as this boogeyman, man. You guys and your crazy thoughts... Thinking that King Kong is some kind of, you know, uh, Rubik's Cube and nobody could beat him because he, he's Cuban and he undefeated. Listen, man, anybody could have an undefeated record. Anybody at heavyweight could be undefeated. Being undefeated means nothing. You want to know what means something? The people you fought. That is what means everything. Everything a guy could be 50 and 0, right? You could just see the guy, you know, you could just look at the guy's record for a split second and say, Oh wow, he's 50 and 0. A casual boxing fan will look at that and say, Oh, this guy's 50 and 0. He must be a killer. Nobody could beat him. But a hardcore boxing fan will take the time to look at his resume. And if a hardcore boxing fan looks, at the guy's resume and sees that he doesn't recognize a single fucking person in his resume, then he would a hundred percent think to himself, this dude got a padded ass record. His 50 and all means jack shit. Because being undefeated means nothing, people. What matters in boxing is the resume. A guy could have 10 fights, 
10 professional fights and be undefeated. And if he... And let's say 8 out of those 10 fights were top 10, top 15 heavyweights. He would have a good resume, even if it's just 10 fights. Look at Al look, yo, Alexander Yusek. Alexander Yusek has like 13 fights, I believe. Maybe, or maybe it's been, I already forgot, but I, I believe he has less than 15 fights. Alexander Yusek has a really uh, short resume. He's only had 15 pro fights or something like that, right? But he has a really good resume. You look at his resume, stacked. The dude has wins over uh, Gassiv, you know, Gassiev. He has wins over, Jesus, uh, Marius Breedis. He has wins over, I already forgot how to pronounce his name, Tabishia. <laughs> he has wins over that Polish dude that I will not pronounce his name because I'm going to butcher it. He has dudes over Marco Hook. Like, this guy has 15 uh, fights. Pro professional boxing fights, but he has a stacked resume. So you look at his resume and you're like, oh, shit. He's stacked. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter how many fights a guy has or if he's 50-0 undefeated. All that matters is his resume and who he's actually fought. That's why when I look at Luis Ortiz, I didn't really give two fucks if he was 23-0 and 20, whatever, I think he was 28 and 0 when he fought Wilder because I'm all about the resume, homie. So I looked at the resume and I'm like, dude, this guy's fighting bums. How the fuck you gonna be considered the, a big boogeyman at heavyweight and the best guy you have is a guy top 20? If you a boogeyman, homie, you gotta have a really good fucking resume. You gotta be, you know, but you know what a real boogeyman is? A real boogeyman isn't a guy who's undefeated. And, you know, he's a... Uh, he has 30 and 0, or, or he's Cuban. A real boogeyman is a guy who has a stacked resume. All right, if I see a guy who's 10 and 0, but he got a stacked resume, I'm going to call that dude a boogeyman over a guy who's 50 and 0 with 50 KOs. Yeah, because I'll be looking at that like, you know what? This dude got 10 victories. This other dude got 50 victories. But you know what? I'm going to consider this dude a fucking boogeyman rather rather than the guy who has 50 victories and 50 KOs because the guy with 10 uh, fights actually has a stacked resume. When the dude with 50 victories got like, who fought two guys with a post and the rest of them were just cherry pick bums. This is why I never really rated Louis Soutis high to begin with. So I'm not going to sit here and say he's better than AJ. All right, let them fight. If he beats AJ, then yeah, he's clearly better than AJ. But in terms of resume, in terms of stuff like that, he ain't, he ain't got shit on AJ. When it comes to Tyson Fury, again, at this point, I'm looking at someone like, first First of all, Tyson Fury is more proven than someone like Luis Ortiz because he actually beat someone who's legit, which was Vladimir Klitschko. Luis Ortiz never beat anyone legit. The best victory in his entire freaking career was against uh, Brian Jennings. That's it. Truth be told, the truth first, but homie, it must be said. <laughs> When it comes to Fury, he's actually proven that he's world level, right? Because he actually has a win over Vladimir Klitschko. So he, that's a little different. But like I'm saying, I think at this point in his career, I think uh, Anthony Joshua is better because I think he's fought, he has a better resume at least. And I think in terms of like overall conditioning, I don't know if this is still the same Fury. Like, matter of fact, I'm sure this isn't. And I know it isn't because I've seen him fight. I've seen Tyson Fury fight. When he came, when he had that comeback against that, you know, low level bum, he didn't look the same. He looked rusty. He looked, his timing was off. He didn't look the way I normally am used to him looking. All right? I know how Tyson Fury is, so that's why I, I don't really like his chances against Deontay Wilder because he's not the same. So again, Wilder has to actually fight Joshua for him to actually claim. That these guys are better than him. You you can't claim if you haven't actually beaten the dude or fought the dude. 